So to recap from last time, I was having to push forward on the cyclic stick and it was a continuous force. And that's because of this dry frame sticking out the back of the head. So I've now balanced it with a frame and a battery. And that is roughly balanced now. And the reason that the nose was tilting up is because these bars come down and they push up from a point further back from the CG line. So that had the effect of lifting the nose and giving it a um, tail heavy attitude. And with that balance now, I don't expect I'll need the nose weight. I had to buy a new electric water pump because the old one apparently was only rated for 100 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. I've modified the cyclic stick so it's closer to me and slightly taller. I've also got rid of the play. Okay, I've just spun up the blades and there are some big vibrations. Something is very wrong. That's probably the end of today, unfortunately, but let's see what's happened. I'm a bit surprised this broke. Um, I didn't think it would be under that much stress. I think the material was 6082T6, but I'll have to look that up. I don't think I would have made it out of 7075. Um, but the option now is to make it out of steel. Uh, that's going to be my choice, I think. The only other option is a, a redesign. This is 15 mil diameter and obviously these are ball races needle rollers so it's the smallest bearing i could fit inside the clutch housing you can see the needle rollers in there and that drops inside and that was the biggest shaft i could get into the center of that clutch so really without redesigning the whole clutch i'm not quite sure what I can do redesign wise but I can make the part out of steel and hopefully that will be okay Oh dear, fatigue cracking has started. Yeah, it's no surprise. I'll weld it up just for now, but I'm gonna have to make these out of steel. I've mounted some extended skids. They're five meters long. Let's try it. I'm going to lengthen these tethers a bit, they're just too restrictive.
now the question, is this cyclic pitch control or weight shift control? This question has puzzled me for quite a while and I think I can explain the answer which was given to me from the guys on the Rotary Wing forum, but I'm going to put it in my own words. Here we have the rotors straight and level and I'm going to execute a roll to the left. As I roll to the left, the bottom blade increases in pitch and the top blade decreases in pitch. During the next 90 degrees of rotation, lift has increased on one side of the rotor disc and decreased on the other. This has helped move the rotor disc to a new orbit and the thrust vector has now changed. It was the angle of attack of the blades that changed. When you move the mast and therefore blade pitch, the rotor can't respond as quickly and so the blade pitch has changed but the rotor disc is still spinning in the previous orbit. The rotor discs are free to teeter and this allows the mast and rotors to be out of sync if only for a very brief time period. So you can now hopefully understand that the angle of attack changed and that's what's powering the thrust vector change or roll. Of course, some power has to come from my cyclic stick, which is pushing on the airframe. The airframe will move to some degree, but the cyclic stick forces are so minimal, the vast majority of the power needed to facilitate a roll comes from the aerodynamics of the rotor disc. In summary, to say it's purely cyclic control isn't entirely accurate. So it's a mixture of both, but primarily cyclic pitch control. I hope I've understood that correctly, but my cyclic stick certainly feels very similar to a Robinson.